There seems to be a lot of uncertainty about myself, my mental health, and my feelings towards certain community members among our community. I've tried different formats and such to figure out how best to explain this from rambling Tumblr posts that go too in-depth to cooking up a live stream with a friend who is a psychologist. It's very important to me that I come clean, but the stigma against people of my type, so to speak, is so negative and so scary. I remember when the Daddy 5 situation went down, and the comments towards the children's biological mother are why I'm so terrified of telling the truth now. I've already been open about being bipolar and have attempted to hint towards certain aspects of it without making a quote-unquote big deal out of it as per my brother's suggestions, but that alone hasn't really been as helpful as I wanted it to be. This video is something that I need for me, and I need to stop worrying about being seen as an attention seeker and need to do what's best for my mental health. And that includes spreading awareness and begging for help and forgiveness. Most people understand that bipolar means extreme highs and extreme lows, but they don't really understand the whole picture. Even I struggle to explain it all perfectly because what is or isn't my disease is still hard to figure out. My sister can tell you that that first week after the diagnosis was really hard on me. So much of me was in question that for the first time in my life, I was struggling with a disassociative phase that lasted a couple of days straight. What that means is I was having an out-of-body experience. I physically did not feel like me. I felt like I was a ghost floating around, hovering over the ground, watching as my body moved while I pushed it. It was all I could do to force myself to complete physical tasks 24-7. It was terrifying. I was scared that it was my medicine doing that to me. I was scared of being normal if that's what normal was. I was scared of the comment my mother made about, I'm glad to have you back. People want to sugarcoat things and tell me, no, normal is overrated. You're just as normal as everyone else. Everyone has quirks. This is not a quirk. This is something I've struggled with since fourth grade. Something that's kept me from making friends with people. Something that's made me enemies. Something that's destroyed my life. All since I was in fourth grade and I never knew it wasn't my fault until this past month. The thing is, I still struggle to not see myself as a terrible person because I've conditioned myself to believe that I'm just an irredeemable bitch who loves being mad on some sick level of intensity. I'm having to remind myself over and over and over and over and over that this isn't my fault. This isn't my fault. This isn't my fault. And I'm finally getting help. I'm so scared to come clean about this most important part and I think I've been stalling this whole time. We need to talk. The whole point of this video is that we need to talk about the anger episodes. I know now what being in control of your anger feels like, and when I saw a video of a psychologist who has studied bipolar specifically saying that the only way to deal with a bipolar person having an anger episode is to understand that they do not and cannot have control, and that the importance of what triggered them is not a factor behind it, I almost cried. I did cry when he said that the only thing to do was to let them have it out and to not antagonize it further. It's not my fault, but I can't stop them. It's terribly bittersweet with emphasis on the bitter. The medicine has calmed me down and I have an awareness of when the anger episodes are starting up now, but they will still happen. Just before I started typing this, I was in a call with Rakurai where he got, where he got one of those episodes at him. The first one I've had since being on the medicine. I thought they were gone for good, and while the one against Helzeon was what happened with Rakurai times 10 so it wasn't as bad against KJ, I still had one. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I know there's no cure, but I hate not having control. When I watched KJ's video about improving the fandom, I realized that there are people who get just as upset as I do who have control of themselves. If you have control of yourself, why don't you use it? It's just a show, it's not that important, it's just a dumb series, it's not worth getting so up in arms about, it's not worth all that venom. What I would give to be able to walk away from the things that trigger me. 
Yes, I'm saying trigger and I have a tumbler. Big whoop. I'm using the term for the real deal. These things trigger my anger episodes. They are my triggers. I do get stupid angry at stupid stuff where I lose control and screech like a banshee, but every time when it's finally done, I cry and beg for forgiveness immediately after. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I'm so incredibly sorry. I didn't know that no one else felt out of control. I didn't know that I wasn't just a little passionate. I didn't know that it wasn't normal. It's not fair to anyone, and I'm pretty sure I'll never find a husband because bipolar people are, and I quote, impossible to deal with. I can't control this. I can't help this. I don't want to stop making videos. I don't want to be ostracized from the community. I want to be a part of this community. I'm only in the beginning stages of my treatment where I've only had one meeting and one attempt at medicines, but I'm already seeing a huge difference. If there's a way to make the anger episodes disappear for good, I can promise I'm going to work with them, but while I'm going through this, please understand me. Please work with me. Please help me to learn how to live with the knowledge that I lack the control so many others take for granted. Please forgive me. I don't hate any of you. I don't wish anything bad of any of you. I want to be friends. I want to be a community. I want to try. Please don't say, oh, she's bipolar. I know they're impossible to deal with. Let's just not deal with her. I don't want that, but I also don't want to force you to deal with my shit. I just want help in learning how I can deal with it. I want to be better. I want the treatments to work. I want the depression lows that Lincoln Park's song Heavy got me through to end. I want the manic high that caused a 12-hour stream where the worst anger episode I've had in the community happened live and everyone laughed and enjoyed it to end. I want it all to end, but I know that's not realistic. I'm sorry if this is selfish, but please work with me. Please deal with me. I want to be normal.